Hello, this is Kiss Baloo, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Okay, whichever girl you talk to first is gonna like you more. Just a heads up. I could have actually probably run for that item over there and just piss off both of them, but there's actually random encounters here. Uh. So, I don't really want to get into battle without adding them to my party, more formally. Also, this is gonna happen. And, it just occurred to me, I really probably should have fought more fights in the... Okay, I want you in the back row. But I probably should have fought more fights in the Sector 7 before I came here. Because, Aerith is like way too low level. And also, it is actually very possible to get her second limit break. Like, by now. She gets her limit breaks super quickly. Compared to almost every other character. And it might have been... Pro probably because most of her limit breaks are supportive instead of damage dealing. If I had to guess. Uh... Whereas Cloud takes more time than almost anyone else, be basically because you have him in your party for practically the whole game. Uh... Without... Any control. Okay, well that was almost a good hit. Whatever. But yeah, it is actually really easy to get Eric's second limit break before you get here. It's actually not that hard to get Cloud's second limit break either, but... I mean, well, let me put it this way. Aerith should probably be level 8 or 9-ish. She's like level 6. That's not really what I call ideal. Oh, I just... That hurts him as well. I totally forgot about that. Oh, man, that's nice. That is nice. Okay, clearly it's weak against fire. Also, what the hell is this thing called? Apps. It's it's the Dawn's pet. Did I kill it? No. Clearly not. It's not it's not a hard fight though. Like at all. So Just do that. And we killed it! Woo! Uh, still no second limit breaks. It's too late. Arlene, Barrett, the people of the slums! Never give up. Never surrender! It's not that easy to destroy a pillar, is it? I mean, I imagine if they really wanted to destroy it, it would be quite easy. They would just, like, shoot a missile at it or something. Of course, having said that, they would need someone who was willing to go down with the ship, so to speak. Hmm. I mean, you would need some sort of time bomb if you wanted to do it without having to suicide. Okay, I need to equip Materia to Tifa and also give her other stuff. Because I haven't done that yet. Okay, that did literally one damage. I am disappointed. Yeah, how- oh, that didn't actually kill you. Right, whatever. Just, uh, man, you're hurting me more than the freaking boss did. Okay, okay, we good. So that's like a crab, right? It's sort of a weird sideways crab, but it's clearly a crab. And... we're good. Okay, Aerith is level 8 now. That's getting into a reasonable territory. Okay, you need to equip that, and also that one. 
And also, some freaking materia. Uh... Okay, let's see. I think I'll give Tifa ice. And that's actually it. Tis like... I guess I could give her restore, like... She probably doesn't... Yeah, she doesn't hit as hard as Cloud. Uh, she also has lower magic, though. Hmm. Yeah, Aerith's magic is almost as high as Cloud now. And Aerith is still three levels slower. Anyway, let, let's get out of this literal sewer. It kind of, it kind of stinks. L literally. I'm not sorry about the pun. We got steel! We're gonna give that to Tifa. By the way, you can change between these menus by hitting the square button or... I think that's switch on the computer? Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's switch. I mean, where the hell else are we gonna go? Deeper into the sewer! Cause you know, that seems like a great idea. But hey, I guess it's gonna work out for us. Maybe. I mean, if you can call walking through sewer water making out for you. I don't know if I would. This looks familiar. Hmm. If we can just get past the trains that are lit up, we should be able to get out of here. Mm hmm. Sure, Tifa, whatever you say. Let's see now. Well, if I can help it, I want to get that. The bluey thing there first. But I may not be able to help it. Right, just, just kill everything. Ah, cover! Now I just need counter attack to make it awesome. Also, I should be stealing stuff, because I can, can do that now. Steal, fail. Hmm. Maybe I should make Aerith have steal, actually. Tifa hits harder than Aerith does. If I, and if I want to steal a lot, that might be more economical with my time. Hmm. I don't know, it's something to consider. Stealing is not really that important in this game anyway. There's definitely a few good things you can get, but... It's... This isn't Final Fantasy 8 or 9. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Where you get a lot of really important things from stealing. It's not... It's not that big a deal. I guess I can just literally climb up here. High potion. Get! Uh... Surely that's inside. Having said that, I'm curious to, curious what these different things will have. Mostly, I'm probably only going to be concerned with stealing from bosses, though. So. Uh, and, off the top of my head, many bosses don't actually have anything to steal in the first place. But some of them do. So, you know, we'll see. I don't really... I don't exactly have a chart for for myself to know what I should and shouldn't be stealing from. So we pretty much we're just gonna be winging it. Oh, great! More useless battle items. Actually, bio two isn't. The bio one actually legitimately is not useless. Gravity ball is, though. I mean, what the hell am I going to do with gravity magic? I mean, seriously. Yeah. But no. There are numerous... Well, I don't know about humor, numerous, but there are several human characters who are actually weak against poison. 
Therefore, bio is not useless. Ooh, it's an item! Must get thing! I still want to know what the hell these things have. It is... No, actually, I just use Braver. Still unsuccessful. Come on, Tifa. They must have something. Oh, it's an either. Actually, that's pretty worthwhile. I think you can buy those in this game, but not until, like, crazy late. So, stealing those right now is actually pretty worthwhile, because they are definitely a commodity. Okay, now that was actually not worthwhile. A as the message told me, it didn't have anything. Haha! -ha! Limit break number two, get! So, check it out. Uh, no, I don't want to set it, I already have it. Okay. Basically, here's how this works. You get... The first w limit break is always... Ignore level 4, it works differently. The first limit break is always, um... Wait. I need to think about this. The first one is always from number of kills, and the second one is always from using a limit break a whole bunch. And that's basically how it works. Check it out. Attack and paralyzes an opponent! I'm pretty sure it inflicts stop, or at least has a chance to do so. Ooh, it's a barrel! And if I've learned anything, is that all the barrels have potions in them. Magical- oh, well that wasn't either, but I guess that's still a magical healing potion. Just a different kind of healing. I guess you could say restoration, maybe? Hmm. Ooh, it's the spooky ghost! Let's steal from the spooky ghost. Ghost hand! What even is that? It's probably just a battle item. A lame-ass battle item. Whatever. Actually, try to steal from that guy. Either are, as previously established, actually pretty useful. Okay, we killed it! Yay! Awesome. And actually, come to think of it, life in my battles this way a little bit is not actually that bad anyway, because it gives me a chance to use m to access more limit breaks, which as previously established, is necessary to, you know, Unlock more limit breaks, except for Cloud. At least, in, at least right this moment. If I remember right, and I might not, but if I remember right, then you need to use limit breaks at the same level to up to gain the second uh, limit break. So current limit breaks will may not help Cloud get his fourth limit break. At least until he has his third. That is, if I remember right. I might, I may actually not be remembering correctly. So here's a nice trick here. If we hop back in the train, then we don't get to walk all the way around it. Which I feel is nice. I mean, we still need to walk part of the way around it. There's no getting around a little bit of walking around here. But it's like a little versus a lot, you know? Okay, uh, whoops, I just totally missed the chance to demonstrate a cross slash there. Also, I maybe should take cover off of Cloud, because I forgot about that. One of the side effects of cover is it tends to prevent other people from getting limit breaks. It's really good to put on someone if you want them to get more limits, though. Not so great if you want the other party members to get them. Uh... And 
Tifa and Aerith are not really as tanky as Cloud. <laughs> so, oh yeah, that reminds me, the ghost hand. What the hell does that thing do? Uh, drains MP. So it's like Osmos. In the form of an item. Okay, then. What is the thing? It's a high potion! I don't know. I I mean, if there's, actually, if there's anything I do grinding for in this game, it's, it is most likely going to be, um, not XP grinding, uh, actually, maybe a little bit of guild grinding, but probably it'll be for limit breaks, as my intention is to try to get all of them, but that is actually going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, okay then, that's quite brave of you. For now, sounds like there's stuff going on though. I mean, yeah, there's definitely fighting going on around that pillar. You know, it seems quite odd to me that the staircase up to the pillar is not around the pillar, but rather beside it. Like, that's a huge waste of resources. The The staircase needs its own support this way. Okay, Big Slash Wedge just fell off. It was Wedge, right? Yeah. Wedge just fell off. Uh-huh. Indeed. Indeed it'll do, but first, actually. No, I want to go down here. I'm never going to be allowed down here, am I? Wow, that's a rip. Okay then, did I get my materia back from Aerith? I actually don't know. I did. Okay, that's that's good. Here, Tifa, you have this stuff. Uh Right. So I'm gonna So I think I'm gonna leave off here since this is a nice save point. Join me next time when we ascend the pillar and try to prevent it from and try to prevent the Sacred Seven Slums from meeting certain doom? Yeah, that makes sense. And we try to do that stuff! Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Cast Blue. And have a great day. Bye!